Okay, I'm committed. I've uh, I had this beautiful Martha Jane mainsail that a lovely lady allowed me to um, to scavenge, technically, because I gave her good advice on on um, uh, an old Martha Jane build, which was actually brand new, but unfortunately, water had gotten into the bilge and sat for quite some time. And it was her father's and she wanted to see it go to good use. So I've been hesitating cutting this because frankly, I was thinking I should find another Martha Jane and um, gift it or something in keeping with, uh, because I would gotten so much hardware. However, I'm annoyed by my sale. It's, it's okay, uh, but I'm not really happy with it as a problem. And here I'm sitting with brand new sale material so uh, this is an older sail, so I've tried to play with it. It served its purpose, uh, getting, getting the design up and running and, and getting it uh, looking decent. But now, um, now I'm itching for a new set of sails. So I've committed. I've started cutting. There it is. Uh, there won't be any battens on this one. The sail, uh, the foot is a little bit further down, so the boom will actually become like a sprit boom. And then uh, the lower part of the sail will act as the vang. I'll cut out the front clue here and, uh, and um, cut the reef points and sew them in and basically wrap the front edge of the, where I've cut, I've left four inches long, wrap it around and re-sew it to here, sew it on, you know, like that and get it, uh, get it going that way. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm not sure, there's not, I'm going to put a couple pleats where these seams are to create a little bit of um, draft uh, at, the, at the front of the sail. Um, so I'll sew in some little, uh, what do you call those, uh, uh, chevettes, I guess. Not like the car chevette. I think it's like little V, V-shaped things. So I'll sew that in and hopefully that will create a little bit of draft. I'll sort of be guessing. I'll look up on the internet what uh, what's, might work and what doesn't work. Um, but otherwise, this is such a beautiful sale. And I either have wrecked it or I'm on to something. <laughs> Stick with me. I might find out. And visit RoyDesignThat.com for more information on what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I, you can tell I'm not fully confident here. But at any rate, I'll try.
Okay, you sort of see the idea. I'll bring you down to this end. There's some lapping to do and whatnot. And uh, try to get some strength down in the corners. I added a hair of a curve down, down the main there as well. So, and like I say, now it's, the boom is actually going to be up in this area and this part will be attached down, down further on the main, on the main uh, mast. And we're a little longer than what, uh, so I'll have to extend my boom and I'll make up for the fact that there isn't a lot of leech and uh, roach. I got to get my terms right, I guess. There's not a lot of roach on this sail, but it's a, it's a little bit bigger, so, and it's new material, so it's not all stretched out to, to heck. And it's got an interesting color, so that'll, that'll uh, add some character. Looks new, that's the thing. Okay, enough of that. Thought I was. Okay, I was videotaping, I thought. I don't know what I got. At any rate, I'm stapling along with his mega stapler. Um, there's a rope in here, I think I showed. There it is. Uh, the yard will fit so the rope's right in front of it, and that'll help, uh, help it keeping from the sail slipping out. So it'll be sandwiched, but I'll, I'll be sewing that along there as well. And the yard's about two and a half inches thick. Two, two inches uh, wide, so it'll come to here. So I'm gonna mount a piece of plastic in here to keep this last little bit up, up here. I'll put a little piece of plastic. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what I'll do. Um, that's a little stiff anyway, but I don't want it flapping, so I'll support it somehow. Maybe just a uh, couple strips of, uh, uh, I don't know, aluminum painted out to match and uh, glued on something so that it uh, sandwiches on here and uh, makes this top part stiff. I'll leave this rope in place. So, uh, you know, starting to look like a sail. I'm a little bit bulgy over here, so I gotta correct that right there. And that's it for now. And there is a rope along here. See, that's sticking out. So, so what will I do around the uh, grommets? Well, my intention is to do a neat cut and sew it, sew it around uh, because it's going to be on. The okay, I'm never sure if I'm recording. I found a candy. You missed that. And I cut these divots back a bit, straighten them out. Now I want to deal with this end. And I should take this patch off on both sides before I sew it so I can put it back on. Although Buddy who actually made the sale in the first place probably isn't thrilled with what I'm doing with it. Sacrilege. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I have to cut this grommet out, no matter what I do. Hmm. Something like that. And that's gonna be pulling. Still there uh, on that side. Huh. Oops, let's find a 
fancy fold that's going to work here. fold that back out and sew it all around so something like that and I'll melt through there do a rope all the way around and while well, this side you won't see the grommet there'll be rope or thread sorry nylon thread all the way around so that should probably make it work and that's there you have it and I'll also probably do the same similar thing on the grommet here don't really need that one Okay, so, hmm, that's pretty cool. And I'm a little straighter, but I can see, oh, excuse me. I'm a little straighter, but I can see where I can push it out a little bit more right, right up against there. So, oh, and this part actually will be curled under. Forgot about that. I'll sew along there first, then I'll tuck it under, like what I did at the top. You can see it's a little neater up at the top. But at first I'll sew right, right near where the rope is, along that edge, and then tuck under the last little bit and do it a second seam. And stretch that out, yeah. So hopefully it doesn't come out too wrinkly. We shall see. I'll let you know. Okay, so there's the original sail. And you can see down here we're we're adding square footage, but uh, the boom will be here and this be loose footed along the bottom. I'll just leave it loose and um, that'll act like a vang uh, to a degree, I'm hoping. And you can see I gain a little bit of length. So that makes up for the roach um, of the sail. And there is a bit of an angle to that. But we'll use these uh, these grommets down along the bottom. Yeah, where am I pointing? Down along the bottom there to when we're taking in a reef to tie down the reef and just bundle it at the bottom. So I'm not unhappy. Um, I think I think it'll work. It's a brand new sail, and um, well, not no more. Technically, it's it's an old sail now. <laughs> And up here, I have to put a little, um, a little um, chunk of plastic or something to stiffen up the very top of the sail. I may, I may just pull up, pull this up all the way. Yeah, no, can't really. Something like that. So I'll just put in here. See, here's an aluminum piece inside. So I may sew a little pocket and put a piece of hardened plastic to act like a. Uh, a sail batten essentially and that should uh, that should keep that up uh, up a little higher so so far I don't feel like I've uh, screwed it up too badly I think uh, I'm bonusing some sail as far as sail shape you can just see this one's all wrinkled and it it's not a bad sail but uh, it's a little older and, and a little baggy but it might be the way I I do things anyway this one, as mentioned, I have a little um, a divot there, a divot there, and a longer divot here. That's too long. It, it's not realistically that long, but uh, so all coming down in line with uh, with the the seam there, the sewed uh, seam. So that'll that'll blow out the so uh, and increase the draft up near the front of the sail. And hopefully that gives it a little bit of power up. To tell a little story, here I was um, sailing with Crow, sitting in this position, sailing along in the fog. It was cool outside. And so when I made it back, uh, oh, and I motored uh, the last bit because I, a storm was coming. So I took down sails and motored the last bit. But at any rate, I made it back to the dock up at Wyerton. And I'm in shorts and a sweatshirt. And my buddy comes uh, in and he goes, he comments on that. What? A short shorts and a sweatshirt? Are you crazy? Canadian? Whatever. I was sitting inside in a t-shirt and shorts the, ho the whole time while I was coming back, sailing from inside the boat. So that's a huge plus. It really demonstrated how well Crow can do as far as a camp cruiser and being comfortable. You can adjust for the weather by 
going in, hanging out in the cockpit, whatever you want to do, putting the awning up, being in the shade and, and being comfortable in that way. So the sails, uh, they are, I'm excited about this new set. Um, I'll keep you updated. And uh, listen, thanks for watching. And do visit RoyDesignThat.com.